All right, so here we are talking about a CAT advanced payload. And today I wanna to talk to you about list management. And we'll show you how to create some IDs, select IDs, and then store against them and retrieve that data. On the standard display, from a standpoint of information, if you wanna know how much material you're moving, the totals menu does give you lifetime totals and a trip A and a trip B. I'm gonna go ahead and reset these and you can see how that actually will come alive here as we go through this little bit of a demo. But from a standpoint of the standard display, that's really all you have. I do have a job aid set up here to show my trip B totals as we go here. Um, but if you want more discrete information, payload detail, if you go into the inform, you can actually get into your totals menu right here. So you got lifetime, truck, material totals and four custom IDs that you could actually go retrieve data off of. So in order to use the lists, if you decide you want to use a list, this is where you go under list select to turn those lists on. In this case, I'm deciding I want to use a truck list and I want to use a destination list as well uh, and a site list. So in this case, I'm going to go back out to the payload scale and you can see these icons showed up that shows my list information. So my truck information, and then the four custom IDs show up in the middle here and your material IDs show up over on the right hand side. If you want to load against a certain information, in this case, I want to load against, uh, let's say I want to change my site here. I'm loading into Edwards, if you will. Uh, actually, I want to load into Edwards demo. So I want to show you actually how you go in and edit and say, if you don't have the ID on there that you want, I'm going to go ahead and add one in. In this case, we'll call this a uh, demo example. And I'm going to save this data, save those changes. And now you can see I've just added an additional ID. So I'm going to use this as Loading a demo example, uh, stock one. Okay, so that's truck three is all he wanted was that 12 tons. So I'm done with that demo example. I've got another truck that's coming in. So I want to go ahead and, and uh, actually load him out as well. And in this case, I want to load Holmes' truck. So I'm going to get a second bucket load here. All right, so you can see I do need a little bit more material. Oh, that's way too much, so I'm going to tip some material off. All right, when I'm at my target, I can basically rack back back out of the pile and just carry what I need over the truck. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and press store. And now that's all stored against a different truck. And if I wanted to retrieve that information, as long as I press store, that data is now retrievable in our information center here. So under the trucks, you can see there is a truck three with 12 tons. Holmes has 14.42. There's a trip B total of a total of 26. You can see how that comes in. And then if you go back out to your uh, inform here, we also load it against that uh, site ID as well, right? So we have the demo example, 26.42 was shown up in there. You could actually print each one of those off if you wanted to, uh, get a little bit of a ticket for you. Uh, in this case, that shows you that, that information as well, but that data is also offboard in CAT productivity should you need it. So that's how you actually utilize this list management system. Uh, very intuitive system. If you're not gonna track stuff, simply just go in and turn off the IDs that you don't wanna use, and then that makes that display much easier, more cleaner, and a pretty easy system to use. Thank you.